The Viper! Randy Orton began his career by being known as the legend killer. Randy Orton is now simply a legend. Randy Orton's career wasn't built on alliances. The most important thing to Randy Orton has been winning championships. He has done that in a major way, a 13-time world champion. Randy recently etched his name in history as one of WWE's few Grand Slam champions, and the Viper has shown no signs of slowing down. Just as dangerous now as the day he burst on the scene. Feet of Fury. The first woman to ever capture the SmackDown and Raw Women's Championships. Alexa Bliss, the goddess of WWE. The goddess, multi-time women's champion. Finally, these two are in the ring where their grudge can get settled. No more excuses. We're going to find out who the better superstar is. This might be it. Oh, my. Boom. <laughs> Harsh impact. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. See if she has it in her. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. And I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. Boom, what impact! Oh, oh, nasty impact. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Nailed it. What a stomp. Good grief. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Oh, 
Oh, chin-breaking uppercut. Oh, oh, my goodness, crushing it. This might be it. Oh, my. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. Ooh! Woo! Oh. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. Boom! <laughs> oh, man, she's rolling now. Oh, what a knee. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. What does Randy Orton need to do now? Her opponent's clearly getting the best of her here. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight. And now she's paying for it. Guys, we're not used to seeing her like this. I wonder how she's going to respond here. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oh, breakneck speed. One of her a Karana. Alexa Bliss jumped to Raw has been a textbook example of division dominance. She won the Raw Women's Championship after only 19 days and kept an iron grip on the title for months afterward. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. Randy Orton, no problem in getting out of that one. Michael, to say Bliss had a monopoly on the Raw Women's Championship is an understatement. She held that title for almost four months and then won the title back just eight days after Sasha Banks beat her at SummerSlam. And her second Raw reign was even better than her first. The Goddess broke Charlotte's record for the longest Raw Women's Championship reign with an impressive run of over 170 days. Oh, what impact. Beautiful technique. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Alexa Bliss may be one of the WWE's smallest competitors, but she's also something of a strong woman. Having competed in the Arnold Classic bodybuilding competition, she really is a well-rounded athlete. You gotta believe this one's over. Ooh, what impact. What a treat we have here with WWE women's superstars in action. Michael, earlier you brought up Bliss's bodybuilding background. Well, that means Little Miss Bliss can pack a pretty big punch if you underestimate Alexa's size. Yeah, most competitors Alexa's size would stick to high-flying moves, but we've seen Bliss finish off many title pretenders with a devastating DDT. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. And here comes Orton. Yeah, she's getting after it, showing great energy. This might be it. Oh, my. Lariat. No reverses it. Comes up big with the reversal. Harsh impact. Big slam. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. What does Alexa Bliss need to do now? We're going to see what she's made of here, guys. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off some of this offense and quickly. Luckily for her, she can afford to take on a bit of offense here. She's still in really good shape compared to her opponent. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Look at Alexa Bliss. She's feeling it. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, they have to be on fumes. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Beautiful technique. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. Good night. The Viper strikes again. I love it. Yeah, talk about a bumpy landing. She goes for the cover, and Alexa Bliss gets out of the pinfall. Remarkable.
You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. Back in the ring again. Uh oh. What a hurricane. <laughs> Alexa is just plain scary when she gets going like this. I think we're about to see a high risk move from the top rope. Whoa! Orton looking for some RKO out of nowhere. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Here's a cover. Could be it. Two. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. And last but not least. She really took control of this match toward the end. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. Columbus has played host to some amazing matches over the years, including this one.